What is up people? Quest Supply here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Wizard 101. We are currently on the quest Triton Report. So, quick recap is absolutely nothing. Cool, he actually won't talk this time. Here's the dialogue for you in case you missed it. Oh, you can listen to it. That's okay. If you um, missed last episode, make sure you go back to it and you will hear that dialogue in full. But, in the meantime, Sergeant Maldoon. Oh yeah, there's no there's no uh, teleporter near here, so I'm just going to have to hoof it a little bit. Mr. Muldoon, everything is okay for now. Triton Avenue's not going to explode? <laughs> well, I should hope not. Sounds like things are getting sorted out. What a relief. <sighs> Thanks, wizard. You're welcome. Oh. Sounds good for now. Cancel. Let's collect some of the mana around the area. Help a little bit. Yay. Okay, looks good to me, I think. Okay. So, I know... There is still that tour that I have not taken um, in Ambrose's um, house. I, yeah, I guess it is his house, isn't it? Oh, he has a quest, too. Oh, wow. You look new. Are you new here? Have you met all the professors? Have you picked a school? Oh, oh, have you tried electives? Oh, boy. Hi, Abby. You gotta try electives. They're a great break from dueling, and you can get all sorts of great things from them. Oh, you just have to let me show you around Wizard City and all the amazing things you can do here. Yay! Follow me outside. Okay. This is a side quest. By default, your quest arrow will continue pointing you toward your next main story objective. To have it point to this quest's goal, press Q. Then select the city tour quest. Once this quest is complete, the arrow will point to the main quest again. Sounds good, but it's the only quest I have, so it will point to her. This is the Commons, a gathering place for wizards of all schools and skill levels. It's also where you learn to... Wait for it. Wait for it. Fish! I know! We can fish here with magic. Just talk to old Lucky Hookline to learn all about it. Ah, that's right. Fishing's a great way to find unique items. You can even get aquariums to display your best catches from all over the spiral. And uh, if you're planning on traipsing all over that there spiral, <laughs> give your feet a rest with a mount. It'll really speed up your exploring. You should talk to old Zeke whenever you see him. And I swear I see him everywhere. You get training points for helping him. And this is Eloise. She can stitch your gear so you can upgrade it, but keep your style the same. Now let's move on. Uh, she, she doesn't say anything at all, though. Okay. Like, and this is Eloise, but we don't care about her. This is Golem Court. This place is brimming with excitement. Sometimes, I hear, evil necromancers attack this place. And sometimes, nothing does. And, oh, oh, there's Farley, the Wizard City Gardener. That's exciting, too. Gardening is indeed exciting. You can raise crops in your dorm or house that yield all kinds of items to aid you in your journey. Gardens also make for prettier landscapes, perfect for my specialty. Photomancy, magical portrait making which lets you preserve still images. I know, right? There's so much to do here, and we're not even done. But let's take a quick breath. Inhale, exhale, and get back to basics. 
Because when it really comes down to it, almost everything you do makes you better at dueling. So let's go meet the Duel Master. Okay, sounds great. Let's go meet the Duel Master, who we've already met, but yeah. <sighs> to Unicorn Way! By the way, you can remove all the location areas if you click on the compass. I just do it, it makes it easier for me to remember because it's kind of hard to memorize everything. Wizard, allow me to introduce the Ravenwood Duel Master. Diego Santiago Corriges Ramirez III at your service, young wizard. Abby tells me you wish to learn of the arena, yes? Ah, but the arena, she is not for the faint of heart. She holds a contest like no other, where wizards duel one another. Do not enter unprepared. Oh, don't worry about that, because the next stop on our tour is the shopping district, where you can prepare for anything. Okay. To the shopping district. Here is your go-to source for anything you might need. Wands, robes, pointy hats, it's all here. You can also get better card decks, pet supplies, furniture for your dorm, new houses and jewels, or visit the magic mirror to change your look. If your gear lacks a little something, this is the first place you should come to improve it. But if you're light on gold, just come this way. Okay. Nice mouth. It's a Christmas tree thing. So you're a young student. You don't have all the gold in the world. I know what that's like. But you still need gear. Because, you know, monsters. That's why you come to Old Town's Bazaar, run by Mr. Ellick Silverfist. Yep, that's me. If you have items you don't need, just come to me to put them up for auction so that other wizards can buy them from you. Alex Bazaar is a great way to turn all your non-school gear and things into gold. But another way to get good gear is to just make it. Ah, yes. There's nothing more satisfying than a magic wand you carved yourself. Come see me when you're ready to learn the fine art of crafting. And I, uh, think that ends the tour? I know, it's so sad. But now you know you can fish, craft, auction, duel, garden, walk, and, uh, something else. Photomance! I knew I was forgetting something. Oh, and buy stuff! You can do that, too. Anyway, hope you love the tour. See you around, wizard. Okay, sounds great. That was fun, huh? Anyway, um, so that is it for this video. Next video, I think we're going to do a little bit of fishing, by the looks of it. Because that's a good way to make money, too, is fishing. So, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please leave a comment, subscribe, like the video. Bye!